Hey everyone, welcome back to Finished in 5. Today we're going to be painting Juggernaut from the X-Men United core set. We're going to start out here with a nice aggressive Xenothal Prime on this guy. So you can see a lot of dark areas underneath. And we got some nice bright white highlights across his back there. We're going to do something a little bit different here. And before we lay down any speed paints, we're going to come in with some pistol metal. Which is a nice silver color from Army Painter. It's watered down pretty thin. And I'm going to paint this over top of all the metallic areas that we're going to go over later on. If you guys watch the other videos, you know that if you put speed paint over top of a metallic, you get pretty much an entirely different color. And that's what we're going to go with here. So we're going to paint his helmet, uh, the sections on his arms, his gauntlets, and the tops of his boots there. And now we have a nice Xenothal Prime and this metallic silver to lay some speed paints down on first speed paint that we're going to use is Crusader Skin, and we're going to paint his huge beefy shoulders with that. We're going to paint his bicep area and the other exposed skin, so the area around his forearm, his hands and fists, and then he's got a little bit poking out underneath of his helmet there, around his mouth, and around his eyes. Now we're going to come back in here with some Sand Golem, and this was a big color that we used on the Sabretooth figure that we painted in our last video. If you guys didn't watch that, go over and give that a watch after you finish watching this one, of course. We're going to use that to paint his midsection here, and then we're also going to use the same Sand Golem color on his boots. Juggernaut, much like Sabretooth, is going to come together using a minimal amount of colors. So this is a relatively shorter video. Of course, we're going to finish this guy in five minutes. So, there you can see just two colors down, and he's already starting to look pretty good here. We're going to take dark wood, and we're going to lay that down on pretty much the entire rest of the model here. So we're going to start out by putting this liberally across the back cloth section of his shirt, and then we're going to paint that on top of all these metallic colors as well. You don't have to you know, worry about getting it where you shouldn't, you know, outside of over top of the skin colors, but for the most part, you can just put this on pretty thick. And like I said, we're painting all of the metallics and then the rest of the cloth. So we'll paint the, I don't know which call those, the big rivety sections going around his chest and under his arms. We'll paint the front of his shirt here. And then we're also gonna go back and we're gonna paint his pants and the metallic part above his boots there, where his pants and his boots meet. You can see it, it's almost like a nice penny type color, like a copper uh, color that that metallic turned that brown into. And again, that's the same brown. We're going to take green black and we're going to paint his belt. It's going to give us a nice dark contrast between the lighter sand golem and that dark wood color. And there we go. This figure is pretty much tabletop ready. But much like Sabretooth, it's not finished in three, it's finished in five. So let's start working on the base. We're going to take some Grave Lord Grey, and I'm going to paint the entire base with this. And because of the Xenothal Prime that's down there, we're going to get some darks and we're going to get some highlights. And it's really going to look good with minimal effort here. So we just paint the entire base with this. And there we go. We still got a little bit of time left, so let's go the extra mile with this guy. We're going to come back in here. I like to mix my ink along with some regular acrylic paint to thicken it up a little bit. And we're going to dot in some teeth. And we're going to do his eyes with this as well. And now I'm going to take a piece of sponge and some of that pistol metal silver that we used as our base coat underneath of that dark wood. I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a little bit of battle damage around this helmet just to get some chipping on all these metallic areas there. We had time left over. So we just added a little bit more detail to this guy because he came together so, so fast. And I like the way it looks. You can see there we put it pretty much on all the metal. We went a little heavy around the helmet and then around his fist. And because Juggernaut is a villain, he's going to get a red base. So we're going to come back in and give it a red, red lip around the base there. And now we're going to pop him off after we give him a sweet 360 here. And then we're going to add him to the case as well.
So we had Juggernaut down into the case, and that is six of the ten characters from the core set completed. And I'm liking the way they're looking using the speed paints. It's very, very easy to get through these guys. And you can see over here we got some Sentinels hanging out. And I'm going to put this out there for you guys. I'm looking to get to 500 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please go over there. And as soon as we hit 500, we will start to work on the Sentinels. We'll jump from whatever box we're working on right into those guys. So make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.